Welcome back to the last part of our adventure bike trip through Scandinavia. We were still in Norway and were heading slowly back home and aiming for the south of Norway to the ferry. Did I already mention that there are loads of sheep on Norwegian roads? Although the weather was quite uncomfortable, we had to continue further south and then we had a break. Healthy lunch, because it's raining outside. However, riding between misty mountains through the trees had its own charm. Still beautiful, isn't it? Meanwhile, we booked our last Airbnb, which was located in a beautiful scenery, and there were also some neighbors around there. Oh. Sorry, here we go again, more sheep. It's coming to the there. Within this scenery there was the cabin which was probably the most beautiful accommodation we had on the trip. And these little fellas lived in the wall of our cabin. Can you imagine a better place than this? So after we went to bed, the next morning we went out for a hike again. Okay, so our trip is coming to an end. It's one of our last days and we're going for another hike and luckily the weather is quite sunny. Only a few minutes from the cabin away there was the Dusan Fossen.
this stretch the river formed a shallow water bay and I took the opportunity to refresh myself. The track along the river disappeared at some point and we decided to head back and walk one more time next to the waterfall. Happy about our short hike, we returned back to the cabin and it was time for a coffee. After coffee we went out one more time to get some more blueberries. So if you like blueberries, you should come to Norway or Sweden. And the best thing is this view. As the sun declined, we went down to the lake to enjoy the sunset. As we were heading to Kristiansand for the ferry, we stayed one more night in southern Norway and met our German friends Lia and Sven. Unfortunately there was a roadblock and we had to take a long detour. we had cloudy but at least dry riding conditions. The closed road was caused by a rock fall and we had to take a 1.5 hour detour. With the detour it also started to rain for a long long time and we were getting soaking wet. After hours of riding in the rain the sun came back out and then we saw this nice flock of birds. After a long ride we arrived at our friends Lia and Sven, but we were so tired that we didn't record anything on the evening. The next morning we had to get up very early to get our ferry to Denmark and we were served with a beautiful sunrise.
Although I couldn't resist taking out the drone, we still had time for a coffee uh, at the ferry. The haven was crowded by cars, bicyclists and also motorcycles. As always, we strapped down the bikes uh, to the bottom of the ferry and went up to the deck. I would always recommend, don't just sit down, go outside and enjoy the view. After deboarding the ferry, we followed a recommendation and visited Locken Beach in Denmark. This is one of the beaches in Denmark where you are allowed to drive on the beach with your motorcycle or car. From the beach we headed back to our friend Luise, close to Aarhus, where we uh, loaded our bikes onto the trailer and went back home to Austria. It was a long drive and we arrived late back home in Austria when it was dark already but everything went well and we made it home safely. Hey, thank you very much for watching the last video of our adventure bike trip through Scandinavia. However, this won't be the last video of this channel. There's another video coming up about Gran Canaria, where I've been in December. And uh, we are also planning to do a similar trip to Scandinavia this year. I do also have some video ideas about uh, motorcycle accessories, camping gear, uh, but please let me know in the comments down below what you're interested in. Last but not least, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. Thank you very much. Bye.